All right, workout worthy, welcome to Amazing Abs. This is a quick, effective core workout that's gonna work all of the muscles in your midsection. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. Your workouts do not need to be extreme, but you do need to be consistent. So come back and be consistent with me. Now we're gonna start with some basic crunches. So let's come on to our sit bones. Holding your hamstrings, we're gonna lay back nice and slow. Fingertips behind our ears. Elbows are out nice and wide. We're reaching through the crown of our head, feeling length. And then we're gonna lift to a hover. Belly is sucking in. This is as relaxed as we're gonna be for a set of basic crunches. Nice and slow, two counts. Exhale up. Inhale, hover. Exhale up. And inhale, hover. Contract and control. Contract and control. We're looking up at the ceiling on an angle. Keeping our chin level, shoulders are low and relaxed. And this is your own range of motion. So you might be crunching higher or lower than where I am. Keep this pace, exhale up, inhale, hover. Now this entire workout is about strengthening your core. So speed is not the goal. You can stay at this two count basic crunch or you can increase to a single tempo. Contract, lower, lift, all muscle, not momentum. Still contracting your core inward. Your form stays exactly the same, even if you sped up your pace. Halfway, eight or less. Seven. Inhale. And exhale. Four. Three. Two. Now you're going to bring your right hand to your core. We're going to crunch towards our knee and then extend. Start with a smaller range of motion. And then if you can, keep good form and it's not straining your back, you can extend that leg. Exhale in, leading with your shoulder. We're not pulling with the arm, our core is contracting. And I love using this right hand to really feel those abdominal muscles engaging inward. Exhale, you can stay at this pace for single. In, in, contract. Still hovering at the bottom. Inhale and exhale. Halfway, eight or less. Contract and control. Final four, three, two. All right, switch sides, slow it down. Two count, exhale and inhale. Start with that smaller range of motion and then explore what your body needs on this side. Exhale, and inhale, keep this pace. Contract in, control out. Exhale, and inhale. Two more, nice and slow, nice and strong, feeling those muscles engage. You can stay here, or singles. Core isolation, core strength. Muscle is making this movement happen, not bouncing, not using momentum. Halfway, eight or less, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. We're gonna bring our legs up to a boat position. If you need to keep your feet down, that's just as good of a choice. Reaching through the crown of your head, lifting to a hover. We're going to start with a basic crunch in boat. Two counts. Exhale up. Inhale, hover. Fingertips behind your ears for a little bit of support. Elbows out nice and wide. Chin is off our chest. We really have the same exact form as a basic crunch, but our legs are elevated. Having to stabilize in this boat pose and taking away some stability. Exhale. And inhale, exhale, singles, contract, try to keep your legs stationary so we're crunching towards our legs, we're not pulling our legs towards our crunch, deep breathing, inhale, and exhale, halfway, if it feels too fast, slow it down, remember your pace, your core workout here, four or less, three, Two, 
Now we're going to slow it down and add rotation. Extending one leg, coming back to the hover. Extending one leg, coming back to the hover. Exhale and inhale. Leading with the shoulder, not pulling with the arm. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Contract and hover. Contract. You can keep this pace or contract, hover. Single tempo, contract and control. Inhale. Try to keep the stationary leg stationary. It's easy to want to pull one leg forward, but don't let that happen. Contract, hover. Contract, hover. Four more. Four, three, two, and one, back to center. Okay, legs can stay down, legs can stay in boat, or you can extend your legs out straight, stretching through the crown of your head, feeling length, and then lifting up to that hover to start. Face the crunches, legs stay stationary. Up and lower. Contract, control. Abdominals contracting inward. Feel your belly sucking in towards your spine with each movement. Exhale. Inhale, legs are stationary. Elbows stay out wide. Still looking up at the ceiling on our angle. You can stay at this pace or single. Two sets of eight at the very most. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. That's our halfway point. Final four. Inhale. And exhale. Or you can stay with basic crunches. We're going to slow it down. We're going to add rotation with the leg lower. Reaching, then back to center. Reaching, then back to center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the slow pace. Remember, it's not about speed. It's about isolating and strengthening the core. Now, instead of going to a single tempo pace, what we're gonna do is 30 seconds at your own pace. If you do wanna go a little faster than the two count pace, that's fine. If you wanna go slower, that is fine as well. Single tempo for a movement this large with this long of a lever is probably not gonna be a good option. Halfway, 15 seconds left. Breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bending your knees, extend your arms overhead, reaching through your fingers, stretching through your toes. Crunch portion of this workout is done. You're gonna hold your hamstrings, round up nice and slow. Now we are gonna go into a bear. So with bear, you are on all fours. Wrists are below your shoulders. Knees are below your hips, arms are straight, elbows are soft. You can stay right here. You can flex your feet, lift and hold. So you wanna keep your neutral spine, belly sucking up towards your spine. Here we go. Lift and hold, feeling that length, stretching through the crown of your head. Pressing through the pads of your fingers, pads of your palms. We're holding this bear, but we're not holding our breath. Shins parallel to the floor, that's the goal. If you need to gently set your knees down, regroup, come back and join us when you can. You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down. All right, quick stretch. If you wanna do an extended child's pose, go right ahead. Now we're gonna go into our second bear. 30 seconds. Here we go, lift and hold. This is option one, just like before. If you need more and you can keep good alignment, we're gonna do shoulder taps, opposite hand, opposite shoulder, trying to stabilize. So you're gonna feel your body shift. But you wanna minimize any actual movement. We don't wanna sway or swing side to side. 
Try not to lean, try not to tilt, and make sure your belly is still sucking up towards your spine. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and done. Great job. Swing it back. Two more. Fair. Wrists below your shoulders, knees below your hips. Three, two, lift and hold. Option one, holding there. Option two, shoulder tap. Option three, extend one leg, bring it back in. Extend, try not to let your body move, not your head, not your shoulders. Spine stays neutral. Keep breathing. Do the option that works for you. In good form. Almost there, we got 10 seconds. Long lean lines. Bear hold. Bear hold with shoulder taps. Or bear hold with leg extensions. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, one bear left. Finishing off this workout, 30 seconds. It could be any of the bear options we've done, including focusing on engaging your core on all fours. You ready? Lift and hold. Option one, stay here. Option two, shoulder taps. Option three, leg extensions. Option four, bear crawl. Keeping that neutral spine, keeping your shins parallel to the floor. Moving forward, opposite arm, opposite leg. Breathing. Choose the option that works for you. It's our final challenge, final push. Not for speed, but for core isolation. Belly is sucking up towards our spine. Five seconds left, go all the way to the end. Four, three, two, and one. Soften the knees, sink it back. Reach through your fingers, sink your hips over your heels. Couple of nice deep breaths. Round up nice and slow and we are done. Fantastic job, Workout Worthy. That was a quick, effective, amazing ab workout. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back. Join me anytime.